driving this Sentra actually just aesthetically feels like I'm driving a luxury sedan. The seats, the designs here in the seats, the stitching, everything in here is very upscale as far as the touch points are concerned. My daughter drives a Toyota Corolla and I have been comparing the interior of this car to the interior of the Corolla and it is clearly more impressive than the Corolla. Driving this Nissan Sentra this week um, makes me still scratch my head a little bit about whether I made the right decision about my daughter's car. This Sentra was on the list of vehicles we were considering for my daughter's first car when she turned 16, and we actually went with a Toyota Corolla instead. When I looked at the Monroney for this Sentra though, and all of the standard equipment, the leather seats, the value is actually here in this Sentra. The only thing that actually misses is the fact that the Corolla was available in a hybrid. Now with that said, this Sentra still does get respectable fuel economy. We're talking at 35.2 miles a gallon is what we've been averaging this week with city and highway driving. The CVT transmission is still not one of my favorites. However, Nissan has improved the drivability of their CVTs by factoring in these little artificial shift points that make the vehicle feel more like a traditional automatic transmission. And you can see the RPMs moving as if it's actually shifting gears different than a traditional CVT. When we think about the drive and ride quality of this Sentra, it's, the cabin is really quiet. There's very little wind noise going by. So aerodynamically, this vehicle, it's really sound. Also, it's pretty responsive uh, through these curves. Of course, it's not a sports car, but there is a more advanced sports version of this Sentra that I like the looks of a lot better. It has bigger, sportier wheels and a rear spoiler. We don't have that model, but nothing here missing. Like other con compact sedans we've tested recently, there's no AC vents in the second row, but one good thing to think about is, it's not as comfortable in that second row for young people's friends, so they might be less likely to want to carry people around with them. And also, Nissan is known for safety. You see a lot of commercials talking about different safety features on the Nissans. The Sentra has them all. Forward collision warning, lane departure warning, blind spot monitoring. So the safety features are here so you can feel comfortable and confident in putting your team in one of these to drive every day. The Sentra has dual climate controls. It also has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto that you can sync either through a USB cable or you can sync wirelessly to the vehicle. You also have the option of subscribing to Sirius XM Radio and you can download the Odyssey app and listen to the Auto Insider on Saturday from your smartphone as it's synced up through the Bluetooth here on the infotainment system. You have a USB-C fast charger and a standard USB charger. There's also a nice little button down here that turns that automatic on-off feature off on the center. I hate it when the car goes off in a light. All things considered, this Nissan Sentra is a great value proposition. Whether you're looking for a car for a first-time driver or you're new to the workforce and looking for something that won't bust the budget, this Sentra has all the comfort, safety, and convenience features that we don't expect from a vehicle in this category. Had this Sentra been available with a hybrid transmission, I may have been doing a video about my daughter and her new Sentra. When you're looking for your vehicle, take into consideration this vehicle does get over 30 miles per gallon and offers you convenience features usually reserved for luxury automobiles. And with the MSRP below $27,000, this Sentra hits many of the hot points. Until next week, I'm Daryl Killian for The Auto Insider.